How's it going, James? OnlineCarshow.net. Well, the much anticipated Camaro Schwag Part 2 is here. So, without hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, well, before we dive too deep into the install video here from Camaro Schwag, uh, they did send me some goodies. As y'all can see here, we've got these badass key chains, Camaro Schwag on one side, and then we've got hashtag Swag Nation on the other. Very cool. Thank you so much for putting those in, and of course, I'm gonna pass them on to you guys. I'm gonna attach a contest to this video and the next video from Camaro Schwag, or probably the next couple. All right, well, how we're gonna do this first video is we're gonna do it off first share. So the first person to share out this video with the hashtag online car show, and let's go ahead and use the hashtag Swag Nation and hashtag Camaro Schwag. So share to those three hashtags on either Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, whatever you prefer, uh, one of those three, and I'll be monitoring them. First one that shares it out, I'll get in contact with you and send your keychain. Uh, secondly, here I guess news for the channel, as y'all can see, I've got my uh, West Houston Muscle shirt on. Unfortunately, the race this month was canceled due to rain, but it will be continuing on second Saturday racing, so second Saturday of February, which is uh, February 9th, We'll be out there at the Lone Star Motorsports Park uh, tearing it up. So come out, enjoy the races, race your car, uh, put your car in the car meet, whatever you want to do there. It's really cheap. I think it's $10 for spectator, $40 to race all night. Uh, so come out and enjoy it. It's a great time. It's at uh, the Hennessy Building or Hennessy's Track uh, in Sealy, Texas, east of Houston. West of Houston, sorry. West Houston Muscle always puts on good shows and events. Go check out their website, keep them on your radar, westhoustonmuscle.com. Uh, and just to give you all some channel news, uh, still have still have a ton of mods sitting in the garage right now to get done. We've got the American Authority rocker panels to put on, BMR tow rods, uh, MSD ignition wires, uh, some thermal boots for the ignition wires, uh, more Camaro swag stuff. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff sitting in there. We got the petrol box coming in this week. I'm gonna compare it to a bark box uh, for the dogs and see you know, which one you get a little better deal with. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my updates. Bunch of stuff coming for the channel. Thank y'all so much for watching and let's get into this install. Well, in this part of the uh, install from them, I uh, plan to do a couple here. One of the things I promised from last time was to show you all the center console piece I bought, or the center display cover that I got. I did have a question from somebody related to this. On this, if it blocks the light going across the top, I talked to Camaro Swag, reach out to them. It does not block the light, but I could see how this would get it out of your view a little bit. We'll see in the install, but I know it was a question I had on the comments of the last video. All you simply do when we install this, we're gonna get some alcohol wipes, wipe off the area really good, and then we're just gonna remove this little red tape here on the double-sided tape and stick her down. That's done. Anybody can do these installs. And here's another piece we're gonna to install today. This is the uh, seat belt on the side of the seat belts where you push in to get the seat forward. Got both of those sides. This one's in red, and this is the Hydro Dip Carbon, by the way. Really good quality on that Hydro Dipping. Look at that. Here's the other side. And I figure we complete the, the whole uh, dashboard. So here are the vent on top of the dash, little vent covers in carbon fiber. Mine has the heads-up display, so this is a cover for all those buttons on the left side. Also, I don't know if you're all familiar with this mat here, but I use a self-healing mat to cut all my stuff. This thing's awesome. I think I got it on Amazon for like 12 bucks. Here's those two vent pieces. Look awesome. Again, double-sided tape. 
And the last piece we'll do today, heads up display cover and almost cut it. That wouldn't have been good. Looky there. That quality is awesome. Shiny, perfect hydro dipping there. Really cool. Can't wait to get these on the car and show them off here. These are from Camaro Swag. That's CamaroSwag.com. Almost forgot a piece here. These are the buttons. I figured since we were doing the top of the seats in this one, these are the buttons next to, uh, I guess they bring the headrest up and down on the seats. Little covers for them. And we'll be doing some door pieces and uh, the rest of the seats and the steering wheel in upcoming videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe so you don't miss them. But here's the, I guess, headrest uh, button on the seat. Also, if there's a tools needed for the job per se, this is probably the only thing you're gonna need. I picked this up at Walgreens. It was very cheap. Uh, it's basically alcohol wipes and really easy. Just pop the top, pull out whichever one you need. You're good to go. Can't wait to get these on the car. Let's do it. All right, well, as I mentioned, install of this is freaking simple. Uh, I am gonna remove my pro clip here, get it out of the way. Uh, now we're going to take our alcohol wipe, wipe down just where the cover is going to sit uh, really good and make sure we get, a, you know, finger oils and stuff like that off of it and then wipe it down afterward with just a, you know, semi-soft microfiber. And as I mentioned before, we're going to wipe it twice just to be on the safe side. Be careful not to get in on any of the writing on the actual buttons and stuff. I'm not sure. I know on some vehicles, alcohol would actually make that paint come off. All right, I think we got her wiped down at least for the first coat. So wipe her off. And just like before, I like to do it a second time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Once you get confident, you got it really clean. Take our display cover here, and we'll just remove the red tape carefully. Don't get your fingers all over the sticky part where it removes the sticky. If you do have problems with uh, removing any of the red tape or just get discouraged trying to pull it off, I found a little trick with this. You can hit it with the heat gun really quick. Don't do it too much, of course, you'll ruin the product, but uh, just give it a little light little hit with the uh, heat gun. There we go, I think I got all the tape off. So now we're just simply gonna pop her on. I didn't do a test fit and I probably should have. Let's see how it goes. Actually got her on there pretty freaking perfect. And just to give a recap of before, this looks freaking incredible. But as you can see here, I've got the Hydro Dip Carbon Fiber right here. This is from Camaro Swag in my previous video, part one. If you missed it, go check it out. Also, the starter cover here, it's the steering wheel sticker covers here, or the steering wheel Camaro label sticker. I did that on the previous video, as well as the emergency button cover and the cigarette lighter bezel and cover carbon fiber and red there so this looks freaking incredible against the carbon fiber behind it here and the red that's exactly the look i was going for they've got all sorts of color uh carbon hydro dip carbon fiber all the colors you can imagine so uh two thumbs up camaro swag this is uh this looks freaking incredible i don't know what y'all think about it i'll give you a better shot of everything once i get them installed but this was the big one i was just couldn't wait to get in and it looks so good. 
All right, sorry about the background mower noises. They're going all day in this neighborhood. I gave up trying to schedule videos around them. So what we're gonna do with this one, if you get a little bit of uh, alcohol on the leather, it's okay. Just clean it off afterward. Whatever your favorite, you know, leather cleaner conditioner is. Go ahead and clean that button off too. All right, let's see which side. Yeah, there we go. So that's how it's gonna fit. Let's go ahead and take the tape off. All right, we got all the tape off one side, so just ready to pop her down. This one you do have to kind of center a little bit. Push her down good. Wipe it off a little bit. There you go, wow. That looks good too. Holy crap. Still retains the function just fine. Uh, now for the button part, I'll skip over the other side. No sense in showing the same thing twice. Uh, but for the button part, one of them's gonna be on the inside headrest and one of them's gonna be on the outside. So uh, I'll show you all on the other side putting this one on. All right, got the tape off and I've already cleaned the area. No sense in repeating the same steps, but this one was really easy because I seem to have gotten it right in the middle and pulled up and it pulled off all the tape at once. So very cool there. We'll just pop this sucker on. I already did a test fit. Uh, if you're doing carbon fiber, you may want to look at which way the stitching is going and line that up, you know, horizontal or vertical, whichever way you want. There. there we go. All right, she is stuck on good now. Still retain the function. Good to go, wow, that looks good. I'm gonna get this other side on so you can see the two together. Well, there's how the two look together, really good. Uh, wow, look at that carbon fiber look of the hydrocarbon. Looks freaking killer. Two thumbs up again, Khmer Swag. All right, for the last piece we're gonna mount, and I've already cleaned the area, uh, is gonna be this little cover here. And it's just gonna pop on right there, it looks like. So let's go ahead and get the sticky off and pop her down. Or sorry, we do have one more cover after this, the heads up display. There we go, that looks freaking good right there. Should have been something Chevy, it should have added from the factory in my opinion, that looks incredible. All right, well I did have a little bit of a hard time getting this one right here to stick on the vent. Uh, what I did is I just got a little bit of goop and I call it uh, duct tape for car mods. Stuff works great, I use it on my louvers now in the back and I'll do a video update soon on that. But goop, it's like a liquid double sided tape basically and it will clean off car parts and stuff if there's overspray or something. But with this being such a thin part, I think I may have got my fingers on the sticker when I was taking them off, it did, wasn't sticking very good. Uh, so what I did is I just wiped a little bit of goop around the rim of it, stuck her down, cleaned off all the over stuff, and uh, she should dry up and stick pretty good. It is a little bit more of a permanent solution, but as I mentioned, you should be able to get it off uh, in the future if you ever need to. Yeah, this side stuck a lot better, so I believe I just got my finger all over it, or maybe I didn't have it you know, cleaned off well enough with the alcohol. So it stuck down really good on this one. If you do have an issue with one that's sticking good, just use a little bit of goop and you'll be good to go. All right, well, for the last one, we're gonna be doing the HUD cover. I'll get it cleaned off and then do a test fitment. Be careful on this one. It looks like it does have painted buttons. You don't want that alcohol too much on those buttons if they are painted, not sure. All right, well, let's do a uh, test fit. Ooh, that one's gonna look clean. All right, so let's get this off. All right. Push her down, if we get her centered right. There we go. Stuck good on the first try. Got a little bit of alcohol up there to wipe off. Well, all finished there, looked really good. So there you have it. I'll give you all a quick overview video of where we're at right now. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. As I mentioned, we've got a ton of mods coming. American Authority rocker panels, BMR tow rods, ignition wires, GM parts house bow ties, the list goes on and on. Plus we got the race coming up. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the footage.